Hey, did you know that you can get your car inspected for Uber and Lyft right at your home? There's a company called Rideshare Mechanic, and I'm going to explain to you in this video how it works. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you whether I passed and whether I recommend the service for all you drivers out there. Hey, everybody, it is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. And today, I'm going to give you a thorough review of the Rideshare Mechanic. And let's start off with scheduling your inspection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some screenshots here so you can see exactly how you get started with Rideshare Mechanic. So first thing you do is you go to their website which is ridesharemechanic.com and you're going to come to this page. All right. So at the home page here you're just going to click on schedule an inspection now and that's going to take you to this next page where you're going to give them some information. All right. And once you got some information, you hit submit. Then you're going to see this calendar. All right, you're going to pick your day and your time. In my case, it was a Thursday, and I picked a Friday. And then the next thing you're going to do is get this little uh, confirmation. All right, and once you've done that, then you're going to get a little thank you. All right, so now we're all booked, and it's scheduled for the following day. So what's next? What does it cost, right? What does this program cost? So here's, you can see what the costs are. So if you want an Uber inspection, it's $30, a Lyft inspection, $30, or you can get both for 55. Now, here's one issue I have with this company is that once you've got an assigned an inspection form, all you gotta do is forward that to the other company, right? So the same inspection form will work for Uber and for Lyft. So my recommendation is don't ever get the $55 package, just get one, and then you can just forward that to both services and be done with it. I've done this for years where I just go to Uber, um, get the inspection, I get the paper you know, document, and then I just send an image of that to Lyft, and it's, just, you know, it's signed, it's approved, it's, it's legit, and they say great, right? So um, I recommend you just get the one instead of spending the, the extra $25, but those are the prices, pay what you want. So number three, getting the inspection done. So I woke up and I got a text telling me I needed to pull a few things together. I needed to uh, print out a list of videos that I was gonna be making with my car. I needed a penny uh, to check the, uh, the depth of the, 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 the grooves in the tire. Um, I needed a flashlight because I was doing mine in the dark. So I needed to like shine the light to make sure things were visible. And then I went out to my car and did these videos. And what I'm gonna do now is share, you, share with you one of the short videos that I made so you can kind of get a feel for it. All right, vid number one exterior. Start video recording VIN, okay. So proceed to show driver's side doors. Okay, there's the mirror. There's the door, there's the door. They're both locked. Okay. Proceed to rear showing bumper, exhaust, muffler, and rear window. Okay. Well, it's a little dark, so I'm going to pull out my handy flashlight. that the bumper looks great okay the exhaust let's see right, there we got under there there's an exhaust right there okay yeah is there just one it's just one exhaust okay right there okay and uh show about passenger size door to locked okay Locked. Locked. Into video one. So in total, I had to make five videos and then take three pictures. And then you're going to um, upload those to a Dropbox account, which is provided to you by Rideshare Mechanic. And then you just wait um, for a verdict, whether you passed or not. So <clears throat> I found the whole process. It took me about 30 minutes. 
and it's a bit of work. You know, you got to have it. You got to have your your piece of paper um, telling you what you need to make the video of. You got to have your penny. You got to have your camera, and um, you just go around your car and you just got to read and, and and go through it. Like I said, it took about half an hour and then like another 10 minutes to upload all of the stuff. Number five, I failed the test. They said my uh, the groove in my tires, even though I'm not at the wear bar yet, um, wasn't good enough for Uber and Lyft. So if you take your penny, you want half of half of Lincoln's head has to go into the groove. And if it doesn't, it's not good enough for Uber and Lyft. So I failed the test. Now, since I failed the test, I didn't have to pay for the test. So that's a good thing about it. You only pay if you pass, right? You only pay if you pass. It's a good service, right? It's a good service. It's very thorough. It's a legit inspection. So in total, it took me about an hour, all told, to you know do everything I needed to do and uploading, uploading the documents and all of that. So if you live close to an Uber hub or a Lyft hub, I recommend you go to the Lyft hub or the Uber hub. You're going to save some money, right? $30. And every time I go to the hub, I, I learn something. I start talking to a driver. I pick something up. I maybe get some headdress that I don't have. Um, the Uber personnel might ter tell me something I don't know. So it's also a very educational experience going to a hub. If, however, you live like, you know, an hour to an hour and a half or more from a hub, then this is fantastic because for only $30, and about an hour of your time, you can get your car inspected and signed off on, and you're good for another year with Uber and Lyft. So it's really situational, right? If you're close to a hub, go to the hub, save the money, learn a few things. But if you're far away, do it. Save yourself the long trip. Maybe you're going to get stuck in traffic. It could take three to four hours of your time. With this, it's going to take about an hour of your time, and you're done. So that's my recommendation. Great, so if you want to get an inspection, here's the link, the rideshareguide.com forward slash rideshare mechanic. So again, that's the rideshareguide.com forward slash rideshare mechanic, and that way we'll get credit for sending you there. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate you checking it out. If you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, subscribe, become a part of our team, Get some fresh content two to three to four times a week. All right. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Y'all got to have a great day. Be safe out there. See you on the road.